Ravi Pandayan and today I'll be speaking about ACL avulsion injuries in children. So coming to the knee joint, this is the thigh bone, the leg bone, the, the femur and the tibia and the patella here. So this inside the knee joint, we have two ligaments, the ACL and the PCL. So this is the ACL and ACL injuries are one of the most common knee injuries, even in footballing or sporting injuries. So there is a variant of the ACL injury where the ACL could be sometimes cut here or in the upper portion or in the lower portion. Sometimes the ACL can be pulled off with a piece of bone, the tibial end. The same, to good, the same thing could be happening in children. When it happens in children, we have an additional problem. So the problem is that in children, we have something called as a growth plate. The growth plate, it's there in the tibia as well as the femur. They are the growing parts of the bone. If you do a regular fixation, uh, kind of with a screw and all that, we try to do a regular fixation of this particular fragment. The, the problem is we are always afraid of growth arrest or growth deformities of the knee joint in children. So now, the technique which I do is called as uh, the bone bridge technique or the trans bone bridge technique. So this is the side view of the knee, where you can see the ACL. So this is the avulsion piece of the ACL, the tibial bone fragment, and there's a growth plate. So we did a small tunnel, would be, size would be like around 1.5 to 2 millimeters, through which I fastened a spinal needle. I would have already taken big stitches of the ACL here, arthroscopically keyhole, and all these big stitches are pulled out through the front, and I tie it in this position. Along with that, I would be adding a, something called as a fiber tape, it spans across the ACL, that also is pulled across like this, and we tie it. The advantage is that there's no metal, there's no implant as such, it just the switches are fiber wire and fiber tape. It's an excellent technique, and it heals very well. The advantage is that it doesn't affect growth, uh, the growth plate or the growth in children.